Mickey and I, well, Mickey brought to my attention this video the other day and it is very ironic to see this like this is like the end of the world this is like we live on this and this is all this is just well I just thought that was quite amazing this big hole underneath uh, it's drawn a little bit of attention the video but it is quite amazing to see that I think it's all mining um, but there's something else here Ireland Northern England and Scotland so that's where the islands are. They all have many, many miles of just stone walls and fields. Hundreds of them. So that's that one. It's quite amazing, isn't it? This is the second island. There's more islands there. There's about five of them. Two of them don't seem to have uh, the fields with stone walls on them, but these two do. And then this is the island with the mining on it. I call it mining because I don't know what else it is. Obviously, I think a few people live on that island. It's all full of these stone walls. Those are all the stone walls. They're all over the island. So what it was is, when I was making this video, and we did look at this part of it and thought, wow, look at all that. Another channel called Rebel Without a Pause made a video did quite a lot of work on stone walls. This is this next part of the video is in part two. So if you want to go and see the whole thing, go over to his channel and watch the videos. So uh, that to me looks like mining again. Some kind of mining happened there. Anyway, we're going to go on. Oh, and these are the other two islands, and they don't have anything on them. That's one of them, and the one before. They don't have any, um, seem to have any walls on them, but three of the islands do. They're absolutely covered. And other places are like this in England, but not southern England. Not most of England, just the very north bit, Scotland and Ireland. So let's move on and watch Rebel Without a, a Pause. Let's watch the video, or a little bit of the video. This bit comes from part two, but he made part one and part two, so go over to his channel and watch both parts if you're very interested. The next island is from a suggestion from Jim Dillinger from the previous video. And he suggested that go down here. And have a look. Good call, mate. We'll be down to go away, babe. And then there's three islands here. I'm in bloody mind. What did you see? <laughs> so many islands. This is all nice to walks. That's the smallest of the islands. There's the next one. Look, clean up. And you can see it's just the exact same. That's the two small islands. This is the larger of all the islands. And just look at the walls that's here. 
So, somebody tell me this is for, for livestock. How, how would you possibly have this for livestock? That makes absolutely no sense. However, when you mention grid, that makes more sense. So, do I know how, how many miles there is? One thousand five hundred miles of walls on those islands. So, yeah, slideshow to a better look. So again you can see there's lots and lots of walls here and we'll measure it and see how much tonnage there is. There's certainly no shortage of walls, that's for sure. This is this is incredible. This is three small islands. Who who done this and when? How many people? How long did it take? How the f see? How did this? When? Why? It's everywhere. The entire island is covered with dry stone walls. So what's that all about? And again they're a different style to the ones in Yorkshire. But they're dry stone walls nevertheless. So as far as I'm concerned, they qualify. So, what the f That's some Right. Each mile has 1,760 yards. Each yard represents a ton. Multiplied by the one thousand five hundred miles, which gets us over two and a half million tons of stone was moved around those three tiny islands. Who do you think done that then? How long did that take? Who fed them? Clothed them? The logistics? Mind blown. Well, thanks for watching. Please comment. Some people might say that it's a little gem making this video. I'm going to show you a few parts to it that I just find quite amazing. I don't even know if I can, I'm going to have a go at trying to explain what I think it might be. Um, I was just watching this video where these people are coming on a horse here and then you just start looking at what's going on and, and, and something goes across here 
and then something's going to happen across here in a minute. It comes down here, comes up and goes across there. Now I have seen this loads and loads of times. Here it is. Do you see it? Here. Here it is. See him moving back. So what it is is, I've seen this loads of times. If I the way I'm explaining it is what it looks like, but I, I, it obviously isn't. But it's like, that is a pane of glass. Somebody is filming through the glass, and then they're being captured on the glass. There is a man in the background coming forward and then going back. I'm not even sure, there's a face here. I'm not even sure if the hanky's involved because it goes with him. But anyway, these people, there they are on the horse. We're going back to this bit. And there is this person moving around in the footage underneath. The whole thing is bizarre. To me, you know, people, um, people say it's all to do with the pixels and everything. Well, I just don't believe it is. I think every single person in this video is added. You know, like the felt sets we used to get. Did you see the person through the glass? I mean, sometimes when you see him later on, he's almost... He's so much part of that video. I'm really hoping that people don't write in and say, I couldn't see it. It depends how well it uploads onto YouTube because you always lose a little bit of quality then. But, you know, I've seen this quite regularly. I saw it on the Zars footage when James and I did loads of videos a couple of years ago. We saw it there and I was saying to James, I can see it. It's like someone standing the other side of the glass and they're filming the glass. I said it then, I say it today. But, you know, there's that thing there. But um, I don't know what it is unless it is them doing the CGI to their videos and to do it they've got to do this but there is the person in the footage standing up being down and coming back up I mean you know I, I've seen them reuse footage it's like they film over the top of other footage but that is also very bizarre isn't it to do that but you know this whole video is bizarre. When you look at it. Every single one of those people have been put in. And then there is that man moving around. Well, we'll call it a man, person. There is a person moving around in the footage, extra. Just look at everybody. Everybody looks weird, it's because they're not real. So, what I did was I took this video over to Movie Maker and just made it a bit darker. And the effects there weren't really what I wanted, but it makes the shadow in it a little bit darker so it's the same footage as we've just watched but with a darker effect on it so I'm hoping you can see him better here he's coming he's going to come now I think this is part of him here as well he's he's in here and then he's going to he, he, he's going to be here. That person jumping up. Here he comes. Stops and looks and then goes back. And I say, I think that, that hanky something to do with it. And this bit over there. Do you see it? It's like it's something to do with the whole thing. Flossie, just wait a minute. My dog wants to go out. Do you never know what you want, do you, Flossy? Anyway, um, I think she's hungry, aren't you? Yeah, I want some food. Anyway, the whole thing is just bizarre. Hopefully you can see the man a little bit better in the 
footage but he's there i've seen it when we're on trains but i didn't say thing then because you know it could be them looking out of the glass window but there's no glass window here so why is there a reflection of someone else in it and it's not just a bit of them you can it's there it's most of their body going back up there so how can that be is this um 1800s um cgi that's what I think it is. There he goes, back he goes. It's just a, it's just that shot, but I see it repeatedly. You're all watching it with these other people in it, like ghosts. It's like a ghost going back. And then the bit of smoke which goes off here is bizarre. And you don't notice it. But I do. Because I've seen it so many times. And you know, people, some people, I'm not saying they're having a go at me, but they write in the comments that it's pixels and everything, but it's not. You know, suddenly we'll come across that somebody's in the wrong perspective and, you know, like some of these down here, these kids, they're all really weird when you watch them. Really weird. Because the way I see it is these are all, there he goes again, these are all on that, I just don't know, anyway, they're all 2D on 2D, you know, we're 3D on 2D when they take pictures, okay, but we were 3D to start with, and I think that shows itself in the pictures, whereas these, they're just added, and that's really strange, whatever that is, his arm, that's just most bizarre, but anyway, yeah. Hopefully he came out a little bit bigger then, or a little bit darker rather, should I say. Um, there he is, there he going off on here, I still think that. Oh, it's just bizarre, but why is he in there? Why? What, are all these videos are CGI? People are making them, even in, you know, the 18 and 1900s to pretend there's loads of people when there wasn't. See him? He's so in the footage. Really? You know, there's no perspective there how that horse was walking through. I don't know, it's just all bizarre. But anyway, there was just one other bit I saw that was the same. Well, it didn't have an extra person in it. Oh no, we're still on this footage at the moment. Um, now it's brighter and we're continuing on so you saw that that looked like a face over here it was a bit bizarre and this is how they've CGI'd it and maybe they did it all in a studio behind glass oh yes look this kid here Look at the perspectives of everyone. They don't, it doesn't work. Look at that kid there. And look at the size of him. You'll see that they all just look so odd. There goes the man. There he goes. What? I don't know what's happening there. Has anybody got any other ideas to what they think it is? And then you start looking into things and it's just, just none of it looks right. There's the man getting up. This corner is so strange with whatever happens with, like, do you see that on the right hand side? Let's go back to that again here as it comes. Let me see if I can stop the footage. There goes the man. Here we go. Oh, there's one. What's this, this thing going on here? Oh, there you go. Look, it looks like that's its head, but it looks like more like a an elf and there's his arm and there's his body, do you see it? I mean that is just out of character to what's going on in here. And um, these are the kind of things I see and then again go back here and then 
to get back. I've come back again. So, what's that? And then this man's got a funny hat, and then that appears, and then that appears. Did you see that? It's going to go into it on. Yeah, what's this? It just, and then he's not. Oh, they're just. Oh, yeah. We're looking for the ghosty thing that goes across the smoke. Here it comes. Here it is. What's going on in the footage? And there it looks like a cat or something. And there it looks like a skeleton with, like an alien skeleton. There's the cat. See the cat? Or oh, like leopard or something. It's lioness. And then there's this sort of body thing, but I think it's the man really in the footage. See him there? His face, his body. I mean, that is just, I mean, I have thought maybe that the AI is doing this, puts on extra things in the footage, just always does. I saw it years ago, I did many footages where, you know, even on Hangouts, they put numbers on our hair. You know, they do this, the AI does these things. I mean, I, I just can't even, like, what is going on? It's just, this is not pixelation, this is... I don't know what it is. I mean, what's all that? They're cutting something out there. What are they cutting out here? Or what have they added? They've added the people. At normal speed, people aren't seeing it. And you're like, I said you've got to slow the footage down. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, what's this? Like that, whatever that is, like a dog lying across there. What's that? I mean, if you go back, let's go back here. Where is it? There. See the dog? It's all just bizarre. There's the dog. And then you start looking. I mean, look at the perspective of him when other people. It's just, they've been stuck in. This is not pixelation. See? Look, he's got a line round him. That means he's added. There's the man in the background. That really blew my mind. I just wonder what everybody else's thoughts are. I mean, if you're not sure, don't make a comment. Watch it again. Maybe speed it up, if that makes it better for you. Because it is happening in the footage. Anyway, the last part of the footage was just looking at this. It's got the same problem. Everybody is at it again. No one's real, it's all a cartoon. The soldiers, whichever, they change quite a lot, their hats and everything. Look at the women, look at the perspective of the two women. They're one step away from the soldiers, but they're much bigger. Look at it all. I'm talking about these women. The perspectives are wrong. And then something's gonna happen here, like someone's got a really big hat or something. And then that can't be here. It's look. This is not in the right. What the hell's that? It's quite big. These are big then, because you see they're superimposed into the footage. These hats and stuff are superimposed in. Yeah, all superimposed in. Look at the size of these hats. And then when you see them, look what happens to the horses. No, it just, it's because it's been manipulated. And if there's a man behind a glass doing it, they did it to this as well. Look at that man there, he's lost part of his face. So that means he is added to the footage, like I've been telling you added to the footage. Look at them all. This, if he was real, his face would be there. But it's not. I mean, did you see that? Let's stop there a minute. Let's just go back to this bit here. Where is it? We'll go back. Do you see? He is added. He's added to the foot. They are not all walking together. He is added, they are added, and then that's another layer back there. 
So one layer, two layers, and then he is added. Let's go back a tiny bit more so you can see it again now. So here he comes. Added, he is added. I like these hats are in the wrong perspective to the video. just disgusting what they do. Just a bunch of lies. Well, she's the same. Let's go back there to the woman. And yeah, she's at it as well, the woman in the front. See how big her head is? Stop the footage there. Right, let's go back here. Well, that do. Do you see how big her head is? When she's just basically one step away from him and his head. And look, he's one step away from him and look at the size difference between his head and her head and we're talking of maybe two or three steps it doesn't happen like that and look at these people on the wall he hasn't even got a head that one but um, look at them all they don't look real do they? they're added, everything's added see they, these cannot be in the same perspective that him to him is wrong and him to her is wrong oh it's just disgusting because they shouldn't be allowed to do this to us, to treat us like this. That's what I say. Hopefully now when you're looking at it, you can see that it's all added. And I'm, you know, when I look at it, you keep thinking, are the people darker skin? And then they've covered them up. And that's why nobody looks that real, really, because they've covered them up. Anyway, we're coming to the end of the video. What do you think about, like, whatever that is, uh, man behind glass, ghost, uh, whatever it is, what's your thoughts? And obviously this is all just crazy and added. Added, it's all like layer upon layer of lies, layer upon layer of making these videos. Who do you think did it? Do you think they did it then, in the early 1900s, late 1800s, early 1900s? Or do you think they've been done now? But then why would there be a man behind the glass? Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below.